Hello, Dodie Knights. Coming to you this week with a heavy heart. Um, I've been talking to some parents and also receiving emails from some students who are just broken right now. Um, they're lonely and they feel disconnected. And I just wanted to bring that out and talk about it because, you know, I'm feeling disconnected too. I'm missing my friends at work. I'm missing the opportunity to just engage with my kids and their parents. And it made me start thinking about what does this really mean? And what would we call this part, this time in our lives? It's kind of like a feeling of being just disconnected. And as humans, we value connection. I mean, that's, that's why we live our lives, is to connect with others, be in relationships with others, grow with others. And right now, we're missing that. And it, it makes us feel like there's a void in our lives and a lot of us don't know what to do with that void um, you can get lost there it's a big void and i looked into what connection is because like i mentioned as humans we crave that that physical connection that emotional connection and in order to have connection with other people we have to allow ourselves to be seen like really seen, not just on social media, posting a picture of what we did that weekend and it looks like we have this great life. No, being honest and real and open with what we're dealing with and how we're feeling. And once we're honest with ourselves and we allow people to see us for who we are, then those true connections can be made. And I think it's those connections that are gonna get us through this difficult time that we are living through right now. Um, some of us feel like we're not worthy of connection, like maybe we don't have enough to give, and that's simply not true. We have so much to give to other people we just need to understand and recognize our value. And parents and students, everyone has value. And I've mentioned this before, but I really want this to hit home and resonate. We need to find our value. We need to find our worth. We need to realize that we have so much to give of ourselves to other people and start making those connections. And I know physically we're kind of stuck right now, uh, at least six feet apart when it goes to making that physical connection. We've got our masks on. It kind of gives a different feel to the whole process. But, you know, at Doty Middle School, we do have programs and clubs that are designed just for the purpose of connection. We've got a boys club, Noble Knights, a girls club, um, Power Up. We're gonna be starting a book club called Chapter Chat. And I'm also going to be holding office hours. I know our amazing teachers um, every single day from two to three offer their office hours so that if anyone has a question or concern, they can go and check in. I wanna offer that as well. I want to make that connection um, with you and your child. So I'm gonna send out an email with specific information about that. Once a week, I will be holding office hours. I think I'm gonna call it Red Fox Recap, just to give the kids a chance and parents a chance to just talk about their week, um, do a little meet and greet with me, um, start that connection, build that relationship, because I think that's what's gonna get us through this time. Um, I always encourage my kids and parents to be strong, to be joyful, to worry less. And the phone calls and emails I've been getting, they contradict all of that. And there's a lot of sadness out there and anxious worry and concern. And I understand and I get it. And I want to help and I want to be there for you. And I want those connections to begin and to kind of grow into something beautiful. 
So this week, it's all about making connections. Encourage your kids to reach out, um, get involved, join a club. There's going to be other opportunities through web where everyone belongs for our sixth grade students, where our eighth grade web mentors are going to be reaching out and again, building connections and relationships with our kids. Um, if there's any time that you feel you want to meet with me in person, we can Zoom together. I'm happy to do that, but let's just really focus on connecting with each other, reaching out, being a little vulnerable, having the courage to let people see ourselves for who we truly are, because that's, that's a beautiful thing, is just being real with each other and just putting it out there. So nights, lots to think about, but my heart's always with you. I wish you a great rest of the week. Uh, let's work on our connections. Let's stay just with each other in um, good times and bad times and just build our relationships as we move day by day. So on that note, take care nights. You're in my heart as always, and I will talk to you in a week. Take care.